What's going on guys? It's your boy, Worthy Prince, coming at ya with another Lord's mobile video. And today guys, POA migrated to Kingdom 509. Now before we went, I thought, you know what? My griffin trap is still pretty loaded up with resources. Let's go and get a real cool griffin pool as a sweet mwah to everyone as we leave. <laughs> So what I done was I went over to this little um, little bank here, nice little spot I found, and a big shout out to Guild UMM. They came over and started burning me with one troops to try and get the trap triggered. It didn't take long after they started burning for the castles to start coming in. Now as you can see, my attention is on this guy on the left hand side coming across the lake with full T4 infantry. <laughs> That's an over 1 billion might player coming in guys. You can see he's got 6 marches flying in to the worthy griffin trap right now. Now I'm going to allow him to hit me with all 6 of those. Okay? I want him to feel nice and comfortable. As well as everybody else. Because if everybody else sees that guy coming in from distance and me still not springing the trap, they might switch to T4s because they were really skeptical, these ones that came in close. They were like, nah, nah. I'll farm with tier 2 buddy, it's alright, <laughs> you ain't getting my tier 4s, but that's not actually how this played out, I did get some of their tier 4s which was really good stuff, as you can see McClure's troops are on their way back, I'm expecting his marches to come out anytime soon, I know he's sending tier 4 infantry from checking it previously, and here he comes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright buddy, how many marches am I going to catch off you? There's one march, we've got two coming in. Plus everybody else sending in above me, but that's just bonus. Three coming in from him. Okay, the fourth one's about to come out, there it is. No mistakes this time guys, gear is going on. Here comes the mixed gear, we're going to go ahead and activate the homeward bind. Here it comes, I'm going to get my random relo ready, waiting for those arrows to go in. Look at this, much better than last time, and no lag. Let's go, baby! 3 million tier 4 troops dead, a leader captured, and a really successful griffin pool. So I'm really happy with that one. Awesome stuff. I'm not going to take you through all the battle reports, guys, because i got a bunch of other content in this video to show you, and I don't want to bog you down with battle reports. But it was about 3 million tier 4 reds. I did go back for a solo too, but I didn't get nothing. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, look. We, after this happened, we then went ahead and finished migrating POA over to Kingdom 509. Now, it's been an interesting kingdom. It's pretty dead, to be fair. There's like 7,500 castles here. But there is like a fa family guild here called the Barbecue Alliance. Now, when we got here, we just thought, you know what? Let's just hit everyone. So I've been rallying these Barbecue Alliance guys, these BRX guys, okay? For the last few days, I've been hitting them. And I've had some, like, small success and a couple of losses too. But it is what it is. Um, and then th the other night, they decided to pull over to our hive. Now, that guy I just showed you has gone ahead and set a rally on Just Crazy. Now, you know who that is, right? <laughs> That's actually the Jenny trap. Now, Jenny hasn't actually replaced a lot of her troops. She took a couple of big hits over the last couple of months and hasn't really replaced too many of those troops. So she is down on her troop comp. But even with that being said, we've gone in and sent all the reinforcements in, hoping she's going to get a pretty good defense off this guy. Now, I also put it into the middle of them all there, and I set a rally on the rally leader who's setting the rally on Jenny. Only a one troop fake rally in the hope that he might cancel. Because <laughs> I know she's really down on troops, and I'm worried for her for taking a rally of any size, to be honest with you. But you know what she's like, guys. She loves a good rally. <laughs> And it's coming in now. Here it comes. So they're marching up right now. How is this going to do, guys? I'm a bit worried. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. And it hits now. I scout him. It's not burned, which is good. It's not burned. But it did walk away. Now, she didn't take massive losses on that one. Um, but not enough to go ahead and finish off that rally, which was a real shame. Unlucky, unlucky Jenny. Now, one thing I would say that's even more unlucky for Jenny is another rally leader come over and rally that that had champion pieces and for some reason beyond me i don't even know why but she decided to go ahead and take that rally too and it really hurt <laughs> she lost about three million troops so good one to brx i mean you know they came in strong and and hit jenny pretty hard so she's got a whole bunch of you know rebuilding to do now as you can see at the top look i didn't rebuild my comp yet so she lost a few troops during this little battle 
But, you know what I'm like guys, I won't just sit there and take, a, take an attack. If I can attack someone, whether it be a solo attack or a rally, I'm definitely going to go ahead and do it. Now, Bashi went ahead and set a rally on this dude, this wolf guy, and he's hiding his troops. <laughs> nah, nah bruh, I'm coming in with that range. So I'm going to go ahead and attack him with a solo march, 375, or a little bit of siege as well. Haven't got many gems, I need to boost my gems before KVK, but I'm going to speed this march in as fast as I can, because I'm going to try and hit him before he gets all his troops out. Here I come, baby! And... Bosh! There we go. So Bashi cancels the rally, he gets over to go in and throw a solo in. We've got more solos coming in from the left-hand side. As you can see, MKI coming in now with Cleet with the reinforcements. As you can see, more, more solos coming in from Mike. Bashi hitting as well. Awesome stuff. So we burned him, but we didn't really get that many kills, to be fair on him. He went ahead and hid most of his troops before I even hit. I think I got a battle report for you guys. I didn't hit that much. <laughs> I got some reinforcements, sorry, some resources. 42,000 red deads. It is pretty much tier one by the looks of that. <laughs> but you know what, guys? I'll take it. I'll take it. You know, it's over 400 million might. It's got a million wall. Hitting that was pretty cool. Even though I kind of knew how he wouldn't have many troops because he was hiding them. Now, the next thing that happened, of course, was I decided to go ahead and rally one of these BRX guys. <laughs> now look, I'm gonna show a video, I don't know, in the next couple of days of me rallying a different BRX castle. And that one went completely different because that guy shielded on me the first time I rallied him. The second time I rallied him, something really crazy happened. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. And I'll show you that in the next couple of days or so. But right now, I'm gonna go after this Kako guy from BRX and I'm loading up. Now, I'm gonna go infantry on this one because I do tend to go range a lot. <laughs> and these guys are not silly. They've probably noticed that I do tend to go range a lot on my rallies. They've seen me rallying them over the last couple of days and I normally do lead with range. But on this one, I'm gonna go infantry because why not change it up a little bit? That's what it's all about, right? This is the dude, he saw his gear. He's only got about 14, 15 million kills, but he is over 400 million might. And for those kills, he does have over a billion might destroyed. <laughs> Everyone's like, Prince, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> but you know what? I love to have a go. And being capped is part of the game, you know, a bit of fun. But that's exactly what's going to happen, guys. I'm going to, I'm about to get capped. I'm, not, I'm, I'm sorry to ruin, ruin it for you, but I'm about to get capped. I'm going to go ahead and put my infantry gear on. I'm ready to go. My 50% boost was active. I was like, let's go, baby. Rally walking, lots of spam. And yeah, I'm in prison. All right. <laughs> now, guys, when you're sitting on an account like I am, you know, 1.4 billion might, and you go ahead and lose your leader, you just expect it to be the rally party over, you know, rally time over, guys. Let's go get some sleep, guys. Let's not bother attacking anymore, guys. It's all over, guys. But no. <laughs> These guys had a different idea. Now, look. <laughs> what happened next was crazy look great job to brx that's an absolutely fantastic rally trap and i really feel the pain hitting it guys i really do but what happened next was pretty insane because they went ahead and rallied my 1.4 billion account yes they went ahead and rallied me because i lost my leader apparently it doesn't matter if you are 1.4 billion or not if you lose your leader you're getting rallied <laughs> and i was just like all right okay well i mean okay you can rally me if you want to. Um, as you can see, here comes the fake rally from Captain Tuga. That's flying in right now. And uh, yep, that's gone. Okay, but here's the problem. Over on the left-hand side, BRX guys, uh, Celestio. Is it Celestio? Celestio. I don't know how to pronounce it, but you know what I'm saying. Celestio is setting a rally. Now, he's got four mythic champion pieces. My leader's over here. My leader's chilling in Kako's castle. I have no leader, right? But he's got four mythic champion pieces. So, taking it, I know how much it hurts taking champion rallies with no leader. I've been there before, guys. <laughs> I know it's going to hurt. So, I'm in a range formation right now, okay? I put myself in range because I thought he might, he might go calves. That's what I was thinking anyway. So, I put myself in a range formation. And I'm going to check it to try and change the formation to counter. Loads of one troops coming in. Here comes his last march. The rally's walking. And what's he sending? Quick, quick, quick. Infantry. Oh, shit. Go back. I, can't, I ain't got time. Look at that. Look how fast that was coming. 
he hit me. He got the counter on me. That's absolutely fine. Of course, I didn't burn. I captured his leader. His leader walked back and his diaper, you know. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, <laughs> I capped the rally, which I knew I would do. But I mean, he did counter me. And look at the damage. 1.2 million red deads. Bro. It's a good trade-off for 950,000 tier 4. But bro, that bloody hurt. <laughs> Seriously, I tell you, taking champion rallies with no leader, no gear, no like hero stats is never a good idea, guys. So beware of that. <laughs> it stings. You might cap it, but it stings. I mean, look at my troop comp, and that's how much damage that done. So yeah, you just gotta be really careful when it comes to taking champion rallies, especially if they count you like that. Holy crap! I mean, come on, guys. Anybody like one billion might or whatever can take a rally and put their mythic war gear on. I mean. There's not much skill in that. You can take it in any formation, you'll still cap it. But I mean, taking them leaderless, I mean, holy shit. I mean, <laughs> it's another story entirely. And then they went ahead and set more rallies on me. More castles ported over. And at this point, I've got a triple rally set on me. I'm like, let's go! Hell yes, triple rally! Let's go, baby. I'm down. I'm not going to shield. You know I'm not going to shield. <laughs> I don't shield. I'm going to take these rallies and it's going to be awesome. And I can't believe these guys are doing it. I'm like, for real, they're proper coming at me. Let's go. <laughs> I was like, this is so cool. I'm checking out the rally leaders. They're all loading up. The thing is, and props to them though for even setting those rallies because, oh my God. But yeah, props to them. All of them. The barbecue family. Big shout out to you guys, right? But yeah, no, they cancelled all the rallies. <laughs> they didn't go ahead and send the triple. Just the single today from the champion guy. And the reason we're now going to team up with these guys and fight with them, of course, is because they're actually going to become part of the Criminal Alliance, potentially. It's not guaranteed just yet, I don't think, but it's something that's being talked about. So BRX, Barbecue Family, might be welcomed into the Crim Family, so that's going to be pretty cool. So, yeah, that's why we're not going to go ahead and fight them no more, because I can't hit fam. <laughs> and I never knew. I never knew that when I first migrated here, but there you go. Anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much to BRX for the fun the other night. I really enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit like. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And until the next video, guys, you know how this next bit goes. Stay safe, everybody. And of course, peace out.